In previous versions of CamWorks, we were able to define the end condition of a perimeter feature in the property manager. In CamWorks 2021, we can now define the default end condition in the technology database. I launch the CamWorks technology database and from the main middle page, go to default feature options. Here I can set the default end condition for either an open pocket perimeter or for a boss perimeter feature. There are three options for the end condition definition based on the setup direction as it relates to the fixture coordinate system. Typically for a part perimeter feature coming from the top of the part in the Z direction, these settings apply. For a part perimeter feature coming from the bottom of the part, these settings apply. And finally, other setups will apply these settings to the perimeter feature. For now, I will set the FCS negative Z axis type to bottom of the part and offset it two millimeters so that the part perimeter depth will machine just below the bottom face of the part. I'll set the positive direction to the top of the part and set the offset to 10 millimeters. The other direction can also be set. I'll click Save to retain these settings. On the top of this part, when I define the part perimeter feature, because I'm going in the negative Z direction relative to the fixture coordinate system, it picks out the correct end condition. On the bottom of this part, since I'm machining in the positive direction relative to the fixture coordinate system, it also sets the correct end condition, this time cleaning up the material left from the previous setup. If I had to define a part perimeter feature on a setup that is not perpendicular to the fixture coordinate system's Z axis, it uses the end condition setting on the other direction options in the tech DB. In this case, I don't need to, so I will cancel.